we're going to read a story about how God created the church. It says, God, how did you begin our church? After 40 days, for 40 days after Jesus rose from the dead, Jesus appeared to the apostles and disciples. He talked with them, walked with them, and ate with them. Jesus gathered his apostles to him and explained that he was giving them the authority to spread the kingdom of God. Peter was given the privilege of being the leader of the apostles. When the time came for Jesus to return to his father, the apostles were again afraid to be alone. Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with them. Then, before their eyes, he ascended into the clouds to return to God the Father. The apostles and Mary, the mother of Jesus, were gathered in a room waiting for the Holy Spirit. Suddenly, a great wind blew through the room and fire appeared over the heads of those in the room. The Holy Spirit entered everyone in the room. This was the birthday of Christ's church, Pentecost. Jesus had given the twelve the authority to do all things in his name and with the Holy Spirit. The twelve apostles became the first bishops of the Catholic Church. With Peter as their leader, the apostles spread throughout the world, preaching the kingdom of God. They baptized, healed the sick, forgave sins, and gave the people the body and blood of Jesus, just as Jesus had done. Soon, there were so many Christians, members of Jesus' church, that the twelve apostles were not able to visit all the people and lead them in worship. The twelve bishops laid their hands on more believers in Jesus, giving them the gift of the Holy Spirit, as Jesus had done for them. These men became priests of the church. The new priests had all the powers to baptize, heal, preach, and consecrate the body and blood of Christ, but they did not have the authority to make, ordain more priests. Only the bishops had this authority. Eventually, the twelve bishops could not get around to all the countries to ordain more priests. So the bishops, with the grace of the Holy Spirit, raised some priests to the authority of bishop. The authority of Jesus has continued to be passed down in this way. The leader of the bishops, the Pope, can be traced back to Peter, the apostle chosen by Christ to lead his church. All Catholic bishops can be traced back to the original 12 apostles, and all the Catholic priests have been ordained by one of these bishops. That's pretty cool. The Pope, together with the bishops, guides the church to make certain she remains as Jesus intended. Ask mom or dad to help you find pictures of the Pope, your bishop, and your priest. Jesus loves us so much that he died for us so that the gates of heaven could be opened. He loves us so much that he established the church to help us get to heaven. Jesus died for us. His church helps us live for him. The end.